Hello and welcome to European Brick. And if, if I'm not getting drowned out by the sound of this rocket launching, this video, you uh, might uh, think that this is a normal Star and Five launch, but uh, you would be incorrect. Yes, this is a Saturn C8. Well, at least one of the uh, Saturn C8 proposals out there. There were a, a multitude of proposals, this one being specifically the uh, Saturn C8 Nova. And uh, before you uh, go commenting that I uh, got the uh, stages wrong or anything, you got multiple proposals. Uh, and uh, this specific one, it's uh, modeling a early proposal because there are two types of uh, Saturn C8 proposals, which Saturn C8 being the largest Saturn rocket designed, having eight F1 engines on the first stage, and eight J2s, then one J2. And so this was uh, one of the earlier ones for a, de a direct ascent moon landing as the alternative to Saturn V and Lunar Orbit Rendezvous. Where the direct ascent is having one spacecraft that lands on the moon returns instead of Lunar Orbit Rendezvous where you have a separate lander and a separate return module. And now, a direct ascent requires significantly more Delta V as you need to take the propellant to return to Earth with you to the lunar surface and back, it needs a substantially larger rocket. In Kerbal Space Program, I'm all this using near-future launch vehicles, using the 7 meter 7.5 meter diameter parts. But the first stage has been jettisoned, and this upper stage is 5 meter diameter parts. Most of this is either near-future launch vehicles, stock, or a Blue Dog Design Bureau. And you can see those uh, eight J2 engines burning, and we're already most of the way to orbit. And so yeah, this was a alter this was a, an alternative to Saturn V. There were later Nova proposals, uh, la well, later C8 uh, proposals, were intended to uh, serve as a, a larger launch vehicle for uh, ambitious projects uh, post Apollo. And well, what really killed these proposals was first of all the immense cost of a vehicle that is larger than the Saturn V, and in fact, there was no factory in the United States large enough for the fuel tanks. And so going back to the uh, mission at hand, you know, we've already done most of our uh, transmitter injection, and they're just correcting it using the RCS. And I do believe that the third stage would have been a pretty standard S4B, just uh, lengthened slightly. And so we can start into orbit. And uh, this, uh, we'll see pretty soon the uh, direct ascent lander. I uh, I based it on uh, one reference image for something that I believe probably would have been launched on the Nova. Again, there was never one single uh, Saturn C8 uh, proposal. So, uh, this is just one way it could have gone. And so you see the uh, five uh, lunar module descent engines there, plus those four landing legs from Artemis Construction Kit, which accidentally clipped through the RCS. Yeah, sorry, the RCS was kind of an afterthought. And I did drain some of the uh, fuel from that uh, lower stage tank to compensate for the space taken up by the landing gear. I wanted them to be uh, flush with the surface, as that was what would be shown in the reference image. In the reference image. Also, um, um, so that reference image wasn't completely accurate to it. Uh, it had a, a different arrangement for the upper stage of command and service module engines. But I decide. Okay, so again, multiple proposals. So I believe this is still within the realm of what would have been uh, possible, just what would have been proposed. Anyways, the descent is mostly complete. We're approaching the surface now and focusing on the uh, landing leg. We can uh, descend to surface and 
Uh, it's getting a bit unstable there. Most. And. Yeah, I. Yeah, I was uh, significantly longer to landing than I expected. Yeah, not the smoothest landing. No. That's it. We're on the surface, and. Uh, and thankfully, uh, this, these uh, landing gear are both uh, pretty uh, sturdy and uh, they have a, a wide enough base to prevent the vehicle from tipping over because it's tall. It's not with really the ladder. I'm not gonna have a curb will go on the EVA. And as they climb down the tall ladder, you can just see how large this lander is. And probably something you should note. I probably should have added some more like science stuff and put to this uh, to this lander, as uh, this thing had too much thought of me. But then again, the uh, like the normal Blue Dog uh, Saturn V, Blue Dog Design Zero Saturn V, is overpowered for Janus Q. But ignoring that, and we got a nice picture, and so we can now return to Urban. We've retracted the, the ladder and have fired up the uh, service propulsion system. And this is a fairly unmodified uh, Block 1 command and service module. It's Block 1 because uh, it does not have a docking port. And, well, yeah, I added the ladder to it. And that, it's a standard uh, service propulsion system, standard antennas. And, uh, hope for the. Uh, for the internals of the uh, service module, I did add some uh, life support stuff because I'm using Kerbalism. And the reason the uh, st the uh, normal uh, command and service module is capable of achieving lunar orbit is because this is when the uh, it was for these proposals that the service propulsion system was designed. It had way too much thrust. To, if, really, well, it didn't have too much. Just was overbuilt for the uh, Lunar Orbit Rendezvous, as again, it was designed for direct descent. Now, I messed up my time warp, and so I time warped directly into Kerbin's atmosphere, and I forgot the uh, command uh, module decoupler, and it has an animation and a delay to it. So I've done an N9 gaming, and adjusted the uh, forward heat shield. If you don't get that reference, um, first of all, how have you not seen for all Kerbal kind? And, uh, and secondly, yeah, to understand that, basically, during a return from lunar orbit, the, well, as you know, it's still in lunar orbit. You know, I'm not gonna ramble on about another YouTuber's uh, content. Just go to online uh, gaming's uh, channel, and uh, you will, you will quickly see what I'm talking about. I uh, well, and that was a weird tangent. Anyways, uh, so thankfully the parachutes didn't melt. Also, I didn't use the offset center of mass because uh, I didn't have the time to prepare and didn't think about it at the time. Yeah, drogue shoots deployed. Main, main shoots deployed. See, I realize this was a shorter video. But I, I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. And so yeah, please like and subscribe and goodbye.